Empirical provide compelling, interactive learning across a range of delivery options. Live on site, live online or online anytime, we have a training course that is ideal for you. For a no-obligations chat about your training requirements, contact us at empirical.com. In this video, we're going to introduce SON, or Self-Organizing Networks. We're going to start by talking about what is SON. We're going to go on and talk about the key driving factors behind SON. We're then going to talk about the different SON architectures. And finally, we'll talk about the different SON features within the different 3GPP releases. So what is SON? Well, SON provides automation. And this is going to facilitate the introduction of either new macro cells or small cells. Typically, when you start talking about SON, you start talking about three different areas. The first is configuration. So you hear this term, self-configuration. The second is to do with, as you can see here, optimization. So it's optimizing of the RAN, the radio access network. And the final one is to do with self-healing. So when there's, for example, an outage in a cell, the surrounding cells can adapt to overcome certain issues. So the terminology self-configuration, self-optimization, and self-healing is quite key to the terminology of SON. The key driving factor for SON is saving costs. And this is mainly to do with the fact that LT networks are being deployed very fast, lots of small cells, and therefore we're going to need a lot of labor, time to put those cells in. And we're going to try and reduce that. It's going to improve the KPIs, such as things like handover failures, trying to improve that particular KPI, and as well as a lot of others. It's going to manage interference. If you start looking at LT cells, this cell's on frequency one, this cell's on frequency one, lots of interference. We need schemes in place to mitigate that interference. In a lot of networks, especially with small cell deployments, they may go to another vendor. So you might have now a multi-vendor radio access network. And what we need to have is some way of managing the parameters and the optimization between those vendors. And again, SON fits the bill. And then finally, energy saving. The idea is the cost of running the network is, is very high. And what we need to do is have, at certain times, have the ability to reduce that cost. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to do those things. And the key thing is we need to talk about where does SON fit. And the terminology SON architectures now comes to the screen. And what we can see is there are three different options. You can see distributed, centralized, and hybrid. So let's just think about the radio access network. So typically, in a radio access network, you can have your ENOBs and your OSS system managing those ENOBs. If you had some small cell deployments, you might have another vendor, another ENOB with their OSS system. Seeing back in the network, you have your network management center, if you like, controlling the whole of your network. And what I'm now saying is we can deploy SON. The first option here is a distributed approach, where you put SON on the network elements, being the ENOBs themselves, making local decisions and using interfaces such as the X2 interface between the ENOBs to facilitate some of that. The next is centralized, where you take some of that control and most of that control and you put it back into the things like the network management center. So the idea is information about performance and KPIs is all passed back to the network management center and that can make some informed decisions about what each of the different ENOBs should be doing. And the way that most people are going is down a hybrid approach, where you have some local decisions being made by the ENOBs, but also some centralized decisions being made by the network management center. SON has been introduced in different stages, and those stages align themselves to 3GPP releases. All starts off in Release 8, and in Release 8, you can see we've added some key features. The first one on the list there, Automatic Inventory, is all about the ENOB informing the system what, if you like, is on that cell. Automatic Software Download, the configuration file has been downloaded to that ENOB. ANR, very important term, Automatic Neighbor Relation. The idea is this cell, when you put it in to the start with, it doesn't know about its neighbors. And what we need to do is we need to obviously find those neighbors, and ANR can do that. Once we've found the neighbor, we can establish the X2 interface and ultimately hand off to that cell if required. Automatic PCI assignment, PCI physical cell ID. Used in the planning process, the idea is this cell and the adjacent cell, they need to have different PCI values. So what we need to do there is decide what that value is. And there are certain options, certain PCI values that shouldn't go next to each other because it causes too much interference. 
SON can optimize what those values are and move them around the system. As we move to release 9, more features are added. Working through these, you can see we've got MRO, or Mobility Robustness Optimization. So this is all about the, improving the KPIs associated with handover failures and deciding if a handover went too early or too late or we were ping-ponging between cells. And it's all about optimizing that to ultimately improve the capacity of the system. Ratch optimization, the random access channel optimization, is all about the probability and the time it takes you to get onto the system and if we're getting any failures because of that. Load balancing optimization. If we've got two cells and this cell is fully loaded or very highly loaded, we have problems potentially getting onto the system or allocating resources to that particular mobile and we need to obviously optimize the system and that usually links into mobility scenarios where you might hand off users from that cell reducing that particular load. And finally in release 9 there you've got ICIC or intercell interference coordination. The idea is because we've got a single frequency deployment in LT, F1, F1, lots of interference. There has to be various techniques we use to mitigate that interference and SON obviously has an active part of that. Moves on into release 10 and as you can see lots more features. Features associated with coverage and capacity optimization. So how do we make sure that we've got the right footprint and obviously managing the capacity of the system. We enhance things like ICIC as you can see. We've also got things like cell outage detection and compensation. So if a cell or a site went down, how do the surrounding cells manage that loss and obviously still manage to serve the users? Self-healing, obviously that links into this cell outage as well, but also this idea of how do we sort of fix problems. And it might be to do with a cell going down, a board failure, software issues, etc. Minimization of drive tests. Now, drive tests obviously is back to cost, you know, the cost of sending people around the network drive testing certain routes. SON has this ability to empower the handsets to feed back information. So effectively, the general public become the ability to now monitor the network and, rep and use that to obviously optimize the network. And obviously, we've also got energy savings in there. Energy savings is all about looking at cells and saying, well, if we're not busy on all these cells, it, can we turn some of them off on purpose to save money? As we move into release 11, all these things that we've talked about, they all seem to get enhanced. So this list is, as we've seen before, in releases 8, 9, and 10, but it's more enhancements to these features that just make it better. So in summary, we've identified the key driving factors of SON. The two main ones, obviously, is to improve their KPIs, either increase them or decrease them, whatever that KPI value is, but also to reduce the costs. We've identified that there are three architectures. The term distributed, centralized, and hybrid come to mind. And then finally, we've talked about the different features, lots of features, and they've been introduced in release 8, further ones in release 9, further ones in 10, and then on to release 7 where we've enhanced those features. Need to know more? Why not visit our store where you can choose from over 200 hours of video-based training? Alternatively, you can contact us to discuss any specific training requirements you may have.